Welcome to our fun math adventure. Today, we're going to learn about something super cool called ratios. What is a ratio? In mathematics, a ratio is a comparison of two quantities. It is usually expressed as a fraction, using the colon symbol or the words two. Ratios show how one quantity is related to another. For example, imagine you have a bowl with two apples and three oranges. The ratio of apples to oranges is two to three. We write it like this, two colon three. Easy, right? Let's break it down. Ratios compare two numbers. If you have four green marbles and six yellow marbles, the ratio of green to yellow is four to six. As mentioned before, you can write the ratio of green marbles to yellow marbles a few different ways, using the word two, using a colon and as a fraction. All of these mean the same thing. For every four green marbles, there are six yellow marbles. Sometimes, we can make ratios simpler by dividing both numbers by the same number. Let's take the previous example of four green marbles and six yellow marbles. We know that the ratio we get is four colon six or four over six. As a result, if we divide four and six by two, we get two and three. So, the simplified ratio is two to three. It's just like simplifying fractions. Let's try another example. If there are three red candy and five blue candy in a bag, the ratio of red candy to blue candy can be written as Let's try some math problems with ratios. Sarah has 12 pencils and eight erasers. What is the ratio of pencils to erasers? The ratio would be 12 to eight. But can this ratio be simplified? Yes. We can divide both numbers by their greatest common divisor, which is four in this case. 12 divided by four is three. Eight divided by four is two. This gives you a simplified ratio of three over two or three to two. Let's try another maths problem. In a class, there are five boys and three girls. What is the ratio of boys to girls? The ratio is five to three. So, for every five boys, there are three girls. Similarly, if the question asked for a ratio of girls to boys, you would write the ratio as three to five. So, for every three girls, there are five boys. Here are some fun ratio activities you can do either at home or school. Fruit salad ratio. Grab some fruits and make a fruit salad. Count how many pieces of each fruit you have and write down the ratios. For example, if you have five strawberries and 10 grapes, the ratio of strawberries to grapes is 510. Can you simplify it? Draw and color ratios. Draw a picture with different colored shapes. Maybe you draw three red circles and six green rectangles. The ratio of red circles to green rectangles is three to six. Can you simplify it? Let's recap. Ratios show the relationship between two quantities. You can write ratios using two, a colon, or a fraction. Simplifying ratios makes them easier to understand. That's it for our ratio adventure today. Remember, ratios are all about comparing things and having fun with numbers. Keep practicing and you'll be a ratio master in no time.